Welcome to In Real Fishing. My name is Matt. Today we'll be talking about panfish, a complete guide. The purpose is to familiarize you with panfish, their patterns, and how to catch them successfully. They can live up to 11 years. The record for many of the different species is five to six pounds. They spawn from May to August, and typical size is closer to one to three pounds. They are across the entire US and many other countries worldwide. The panfish family members is very large, but here we'll focus on sunfish, perch, crappie, and rock bass. First, we have the yellow perch, very common. It's bright green through to olive or golden brown, or even golden yellow, with six to eight vertical darker bars on the body, as you can see in the image on the left. They have two separate dorsal fins, an elongated oval body, and a blunt snout. This is your bluegill, very, very common, a lot of people's first fish they ever catch. They have a black spot on their dorsal fin near their ear, and that's how they get the name bluegill. Head and chin are darker blue, yellowish breast and abdomen, and the breeding males have a bright orange breast during spawning season. They have a deep flattened body, five to nine vertical bars on the body that also show when they are threatened or when they're caught. This is the red ear sunfish, also known as the shell cracker. It has vertical bars traveling down from the dorsal, dark colored dorsals, yellow green ventrals. The males tend to have cherry red accents and the females have orange accents. They resemble a bluegill except for the coloration and they can typically be a larger size. Next we have the crappie. There's white and black crappie, typically silvery gray to green in color, black splotches on the body and rows of dark spots on the fins for the black crappie pictured below and a white belly like the white crappie pictured above. They have seven to eight vertical lines on the dorsal fins for the black crappie and five to 10 vertical bars along the body for the white crappie. Deep laterally compressed bodies, large mouths that extend below the eyes and thin lips. Next we have the rock bass. One very distinct feature of the rock bass is red eyes. They have rows of dark dots along their sides. Two dorsal fins that have spines and a soft rayed united portion in between, a large mouth, and six anal spines. Panfish can be found in almost any body of water, and they are many people's first fish that they ever catch. They are a main food source for the top predatory fish like bass and catfish. Adults eat zooplankton, invertebrates, small fish, snails, crayfish, and fish eggs. As far as gear goes, the lighter the rod weight, the funner the fight, but typically it will be from ultralight to medium rods up to six or seven feet, sometimes shorter, baitcaster or spinning reel, and four to eight pound mono or fluorocarbon line. You can often see people catching bluegill with long bamboo poles, typically 12 feet or longer, that they put out right over the nest. If you can only have one, you'd have a six foot or longer medium fast action spinning combo with six to eight pound fluorocarbon line. Some people do use braid and then use a fluorocarbon leader. Certain panfish tactics work better with specific gear, so just research your specific tactic. Some of the best live baits are minnows, worms, crickets, grasshoppers, wax worms, which work amazingly, crayfish, and leeches. Some of the best lures are crankbaits, jigs tipped with artificial creatures, beetle spinner, marabou hair baits, spinner baits, mini poppers, fly fishing flies and nymphs, and spoons. Now one tip is they have a small mouth, so use the proper sized bait and especially a smaller hook. Panfish rigs that you can use year round include the Carolina rig, bobber or slip bobber rig, free fall jigs, vertical jigging, drop shot rig, float rigs and topwaters, lindy rig, and of course fly fishing. Structure is the natural features of the body like points and islands. Cover is add-on features such as docks, fallen trees, and vegetation. Don't target fish blindly. You want to target them based on the conditions. When it's hot and sunny, you want to target structure, cover, and shadows, under trees, floating plants, docks, overhangs, deeper, cooler water, and they can often be seen at or near the surface in schools. During spawn, you want to target shallow moving water with plenty of vegetation or rocks 
and they oftentimes have signature nests that appear on the water's edge. Post-spawn, you want to focus on points, creek channels, drop-offs bordering shallow flats, and the clearer the water, the deeper you should look. Some adverse environmental conditions that can affect fishing are high UV index, post-storm, cold fronts, big changes in barometric pressure that are often related to the storm, high heat and direct sunlight, cold water temperatures, and low oxygen levels in the water. Schools of panfish can often be found on or near any structure, especially docks and fallen trees or logs. Healthy green vegetation holds invertebrates and bait fish and provides protective cover from their predators. Common tactics are anchoring on a boat, bank fishing with a bobber, float fishing, dock fishing, or fly fishing. The most important thing about pan fishing is to make sure the hook is small enough and that they can fit the bait in their mouth. A number six hook is a good place to start. You can catch large numbers of panfish. Pan fishing can be great for kids as you can often hit large numbers of fish in a fairly small area once you find a school. During tough times, if you aren't getting bit, try different bait. Downsize the hook and the bait, or just try a new area. They may not be where you're fishing. So what's next? Get out there, get on the water, and get some experience and practice. Don't be afraid to try something different. And most importantly, don't forget to respect the environment and the fish and have some fun.